Hi, I'm Ken Kearns with Siemens, a marketing manager with the Motion Control, Control and Low Voltage Drives Group. And this week we've been discussing uh, some uh, systemic approaches to energy efficiency in the machine tool world. If you consider what's going on with energy efficiency these days and the, the amount of consumption and the concern over the consumption, the price of fuel, it's probably not a surprise to, to you that uh, energy efficiency is at the top of everybody's list. The way we approach energy efficiency is from a very systemic uh, point of view. And if you look uh, on the wall here, there's really three phases to that. Identify, evaluate, and realize. And it's a, it's a very comprehensive approach to energy efficiency and a very uh, continuous type improvement uh, solution. In the identify stage, what you really are doing is identifying those energy efficient uh, measures where you're, you're understanding what your consumers are and realizing uh, where the potentials are for savings. Then the evaluate stage is where you do the actual calculations and begin to realize where the largest potentials are. And then finally in the implementation stage is where you actually uh, install those features and realize those energy savings. We have a, a, a comprehensive approach to actually uh, the machine tool design starting with, uh, it's called control energy, starting with the upfront design of the machine all the way through to the retrofit and upgrade of the machine. And specifically, there are two software functions that uh, are, are, are used to allow uh, a machine user to understand the energy consumers within the machine and then do a profile of what that machine's doing and adjust it accordingly. And literally, it's control E, you walk up to the senior merit controller, or HMI, press the control E button, and you'll have two functions come up that are a possibility. One is the analysis function. The analysis function allows you to actually look at the machine level and down to the component level to understand what's going on in the machine as far as energy consumption goes. And if you uh, do the profile piece of that, what it really allows you to do, or the user to do, is intelligently shut the machine down during short breaks or longer breaks and then bring the machine back up to speed intelligently. And both of those are uh, important when it comes to energy efficiency because in a typical machine, somewhere between 50 and 60 percent of the energy being used is consumed with the auxiliary systems. In most cases, a user doesn't want to completely shut the machine down, say for example, if they're going on a lunch break. Uh, so what they'll do is leave the auxiliary systems running to keep it in a ready state so when they return back from uh, their break, they're ready to go. What Control Energy does, it allows you to shut that machine down at a given time and say perhaps ramp it back up starting uh, with before 15 minutes before uh, the, the operator comes back to the line to begin the work.